Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Midwest Charm. I'm at the store today. I came in on my day off. Um, I'm late getting this video up, so first of all, I'm really sorry about that. I do have the rest of that haul here, and I wanna go ahead and show you guys all of that, including some stuff that I ended up picking up this past weekend too. Um, so let's just dive in because I've got places to go. Actually, my son has a basketball game tonight. Um, card catalog is number one. I'm not crazy about the brown, but it's in good condition, and I really love these things. Maybe I'll take the time to tape off the handle and paint it. Um, I don't know. I'm not digging the brown, but I can live with it. I have two separate piles going here, and I just want to make sure it doesn't get mixed up. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, we live in a lake town, as many of you know, and fish stuff tends to sell well. So I'm trying to stock up on my fish stuff because during the summer, the stuff will go really quick. So a little fish wooden bowl, he will get painted. A uh, candlestick. I grabbed these. I had a shortage of them over the winter. So I grabbed them whenever we can grab them. And it's still winter. It's still winter. <laughs> um, but we did have a shortage of them there for a while. Um, a candlestick. This is like a gold and almost looks like it has like a white wax on it in the finish. It's not terrible. I may leave it as is and see if it sells. And if it doesn't, then we'll go ahead and do something to it to upcycle it. And we got some corbels. I love corbels. Um, I think I have a basket of them out there. These will get probably some texture on them because they're brand stinking new. So I'll probably stain these, um, texture them up paint them up, distress them, and get them out on the floor. Uh, these really sell well for me too. So these pans I like to display with my soap dispensers in them, like a soap and a dish soap or a soap and a lotion. And I cannot tell you how many times I have sold the whole set. People will think it's super cute idea and boom. So especially the starburst pattern, I love that. And I found another artichoke because why not? I kind of have them all displayed together up front. So these I paint up and um, usually just stress to show the texture in them. This is my box of stuff I think I had mentioned that needs stuff done to it. Most everything in here, minus a couple things, needs some things done to it. Um, a crock. This is the Roseville one. So I will be honest, guys. The ribbon's going to go. I'm going to soak this in hot soapy water and the paint is going to go. And then I will probably paint the lid or at least re, I mean, it's gross. So we'll get that taken care of and make that look all pretty. I loved this. Now I know this is probably for um, curtains, but I was thinking maybe a towel or just as is, but this has got like a weird green. I don't know if you can see that. So this will get painted probably all one color and distressed back to that uh, tin. I don't know. Did I mention that tin? Pretty cool. Um, I'm always on the hunt for cool rolling pins. This handle is, it's all one solid piece. I'm loving that. A wall pocket. Uh, not digging that green either. So that will get painted. Oh. This may not get painted. This may not have anything done. I don't know why it's shifting. But look, it is milk glass. And is that not the sweetest thing? I debated on doing something with the wood on it, but I think I'm gonna try selling this as is. It needs a shade. They didn't have any good ones at the thrift store the past couple times I've been there. But I'll put this out as is, probably with an Edison bulb for the time being. I love me some milk glass. This does not need anything done to it either. It is missing the glass panel right here but I do love how they put the flowers on there um and the doors open up and the chippiness oh, this is probably one of the house is probably one of my two favorite things my other favorite things are over here and you'll see them in a second um another candlestick this one's actually not terrible um sometimes I'll put this style of the all carved up with all that out as is and see if it'll sell if it doesn't it's a quick paint and seal up and throw it back out there um, and then I know it'll sell this is just a ceramic one um, again it desperately needs paint I don't know if you can see that I'm not digging it 
and a set. I have these. I get these a lot. I don't know where they were originally from, but they have like that brassy, coppery looking, I don't know. But I always paint these ones. These get paint um, and distressed around the little ball there and all that texture pops through and it's super cool. All right, on to the rest of my haul. Um, we did some grocery shopping this weekend and gotta stop, right? We're right there. So we found these hearth and hand spoons, debated on keeping these and I may still, oh, also not over here, some milk glass vases. They're in my Durango and Hubby has the Durango today. And a bird, this little dove is so sweet just precious it's a home co its partner was there as well but he was missing parts of his tail and wings so he stayed there and then we've got some macrame i had this whole vibe going on in my cart this weekend it was crazy like it all matched and looked so beautiful together uh this holds a planter right here um i will put this out obviously as is with some sort of a planter in there matching candlesticks that are wood these will be great painted and distressed now these i don't think i've ever seen a galvanized box before but there's two of them i'm not sure if i'm going to leave these as is or add some transfers or add something from my cricket onto them but something um i see a lot of people use these in their decor I don't know. It was kind of, it was, they were $3.99 for four of them. So I'm like, well, they, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I see other YouTubers grabbing them and they are a really cool wood accent piece on like a, a bookshelf or something. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if they sell for me. Um, they're interesting if nothing else. Found some large mason jars, the bell ones. I'm not sure what number that is, if it's a nine, if it's a six. I love finding these, this size especially, um, for a reasonable price. Sometimes, most of the time, our Walmarts here have, our Walmarts, I'm sorry, our Goodwills here have them priced outrageously and I can't justify that. This is a three. And then this one is a five and it has like the ridges around the edge. And then for my favorite items, I was really excited about these, you guys. Salt and pepper shakers that are milk glass hobnail. I love them. And then candlesticks too. I really want to get these paired up with the lamp, the mirror. Um, like I said, I had a whole vibe going on in my cart. If I remember, I'll try to get the picture up here of it. But with the the blues from the jars and the white and the texture of the wood and the macrame, it was it was it was totally a thing. It was totally a thing. But the, between these and that the little house, oh man. Anyways, I told you that haul was so me, and I love every everything, but my favorite two items for sure. Which one was your favorite? And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye.